What's going on? Welcome to Asian Cosell. And if you can give me the HKO special, hit the like, subscribe, and comment on what you think. <clears throat> All right. So today we're going to talk about uh, the top 1% that uh, speaks English. Shout out to Asian Boss uh, for this video. So let's kind of listen in and then I'll kind of give you my take. So here we go. 본인의 영어 실력이 10점 만점 중에 몇 점이라고 생각하시나요? 한 4점? 어, 근데 제 영어는 정말 잘 못해가지고 약간 제 뇌에 렉이 걸린 것 같았어요. <웃음> hey everybody, it's K from Asian Boss. Do you know what the most challenging part about doing our street interviews in Asia is? People often don't speak English, which is considered a global language, and we often have to translate everything by way of subtitle. We previously challenged random Koreans on their English skills, but many of them seem to struggle. But we wanted to find out how would the top 1% students in Korea react if they had to talk in English? Would they be able to carry on a conversation? Before we get into the interview, if you're looking to improve your English skills and whatever method you have used in the past haven't worked, our sponsor Now Now might be the right solution for you. Now Now connects you with hand-picked mentors from the top universities in America, including many from Ivy League schools. And they won't just provide you with boring old English lessons. No, they will guide you through a customized curriculum tailored to your passions so that you will get excited about improving your English for change. Look, mastering English is hard. Just look at me. I can barely speak proper English after all these years of doing Asian Boss. But what okay and uh the oh yeah and one percent is um the students that went to the three uh universities sky uh seoul korigo which is korea university and yongsei so just that's what the one percent is all right so let's continue one great thing about now now is that the now now tutors are serious about building lasting relationships with the students and you might even all right let's get let's go forward 현재 어느 대학 어느 학과에 진학 중이신가요? 아, 저는 서울대학교 경영학과에 진학 중입니다. 서울대학교 사회과학대학 경제학부 그 재학 중입니다. 지금 서울대 대학원 다니고 있고요. 경영대 다니고 마케팅 전공입니다. 저는 영 인문대학 영어 영문학과에 재학 중입니다. 한국 대학을 모르는 해외 시청자분들을 위해서 서울대가 한국에서 얼마나 명성이 있는 학교인지 설명해 주실 수 있을까요? 뭐 모두가 원하는 학교죠. 제일 가고 싶어하는 학교기도 하고 서울대라고 하면은 뭐 지방에 있는 부모님이나 가족분들 마을에 있어서는 플랜카드를 붙여줄 수 있는 어 그런 명성 있는 학교라고 생각합니다. 그때 당시에는 생각하기에는 여기 붙으면은 마치 인생이 피는 것 같은 네, 그런 로망이 있는 대학교입니다. 이 대학교에 진학하는 게 얼마나 어려운지 혹시 설명해 주실 수 있을까요? 굉장히 상위권의 성적을 받아야 올수 있는 학교이기 때문에 어 이제 열심히 해야 올수 있는 학교 같습니다. 네. 상위권이 있어야 올수 있는 학교라고 했는데 상위 몇 퍼센트여야지 올수 있을까요? 어 글쎄요. 뭐 1% 이내가 아니 아닐까 싶습니다. 네. 그러면은 이제 퍼센트 퍼센트로 따질 때 진학률이 몇 퍼센트 정도 되는지 혹시 아시나요? 어, 너무 옛날이어가지고 잘 기억이 안 나는데 거의 이제 각 고등학교에서 한 1, 2등이 갈락말락 하는 것 같고 300명 중에 한 3명 정도니까 한 1% 정도 되는 것 같고요 네, 실제 진학률은 그거보다는 적었던 것 같아요 0.5%? 네. 본인은 이제 한국에서 제일 똑똑한 학생들 중에 한 명이잖아요. 그러면 영어도 잘 하시겠네요. 어, 근데 제 영어는 정말 잘 못해가지고 네 영어를 입시용으로 배워서 네, 말하거나 약간 듣는 거는 조금 약한 편이라고 생각을 합니다. 본인의 영어 실력이 10점 만점 중에 몇 점이라고 생각하시나요? 한 4점? 어 이제 듣고 알아듣는 거는 이제 okay so a lot of these students they can listen well understand 
and, you know, uh, take the test, right? The grammar test where it'll score like almost a 90 to 100 percent. So, yeah, where, you know, for myself, I'm in, 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 you know, an American that can speak well. But, yeah, I will kind of like maybe fail at the grammar part because we just don't know. the We just know it. You know, we don't like, you know, get into the rules of grammar. All right. So here we go. え、てるんで、丸入っていて좀많이당황을하는것같아요ね。そう、そう、そう、そう、そう、そう、そう、そう、そう、そう、そう、そう、そう、そう、そう、そう、そう、そう、そう、そう、そう、そう、そう、そう
Okay. So, um, yeah. And the thing is, yeah. Uh, yeah. So these again are your 1%, uh, your top students. And again, uh, you know, if you get into Seoul, uh, Cody Gold, Korea University and Yonsei. Now it isn't as a uh, big to get into these universities really anymore. Uh, today's times have changed. So I'm just wanted to yeah, let you know. Yeah, these are your your top uh, 1% of students. But yeah, these days, you know, um, like uh, companies, because, you know, um, here's the thing. It used like private companies like, you know, Samsung, LG, you know, they kind of look at that. You went to Seoul, Korigo, Yongsei. But now uh, like uh, public companies, because uh, let's see, um, for example, maybe a uh, coal rail, which is uh, the KTX, the trim bullet speed train, they kind of is public and private. And then Kepco, which is both public and private, they do a uh, blind interviews. So you can't even put your university that you went to and you don't, you know, and your uh, family background or all of that. So, yeah. And, uh, and of course, I had a lot of these uh, students at some of these companies. Now, for example, when I was working at a company called l &H, uh, all the students that I realized uh, were all from uh, Seoul, Korigo, and Yongsei universities. And I was like, holy moly. So, you know, I dealt with like mostly the elite, elite students, you know, uh, and this is like, you know, they've been out of college for 20 plus years. So trying to still learn English, you know, because it's a requirement, but I'm just kind of like, okay, why is it really a requirement? Because, you know, they, unless if they're really international, they don't deal with um, it as much. But yeah, they just, it is still kind of like still the thing to like, oh, no English or, or it's really cool. That's sometimes part of it, you know, or just, you know, just to practice, you know, but they really only practice when, um, yeah, when class is in session and then they go right back to Korean. So, yeah. So, but, you know, here, uh, yeah, in the big city in Seoul, just like in any big city, Bangkok or everyone, yeah, there is a lot of things are in English, you know, and you, you don't really have to worry if you're an English speaker. So, yeah. And, that's just the thing. And that's how you got to uh, just go about it. But yeah, there, but yeah, this 1%, you just, um, they could do it. But once, you know, you grow in age, they're just kind of like gone. They just, they just kind of uh, speak, unless they hang around a lot of foreigners, like, you know, myself or anyone, you know, they'll practice, but if they don't hang around foreigners, they're not going to practice. It's going to be natural uh, to speak a Korean instead of, uh, you know, the natural English or, you know, for, or, you know, sometimes uh, some of the uh, my white friends, they'll practice Korean because they're so into Korean and they're a Korea boo. And then there's some that been living here 20 years that don't speak a lick of Korean. So, you know, that's how it is. So, yeah. So, but um, the rest of the video, if you have a chance, check this uh, video out. And, yep. And you can kind of uh, grasp from where it is. So, yep. Asian Cosell. So, yeah. If you uh, any uh, enjoyed any of this content, man, uh, please hit the like, uh, subscribe, and comment on uh, what you think. So, other than that, I will see you in my next video.